Happy time zone, everyone, and welcome back. I am Panda, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the latest announcement by Embersword regarding their previous land sale. If you don't know what Embersword is, it will be a game built on the blockchain where you can own parcels of land and earn NFTs from playing the game. So uh, they had a land sale a few weeks back now and if you if you don't know about it we'll go into it a bit more in this video but they have announced done an announcement where they have put up an article talking about what what why what happened in the last land sale happened and uh their plans going forward now i've only read part of the article so we're gonna be sort of looking at it together I am just going to quickly touch on what actually happened in the last land sale. A lot of people were incredibly mad um, over how it all went down and they they touch on why why it's uh why all of this stuff happened. So a lot of people have said like like, oh, you're only mad about the land sale because you might not have got anything. No, I did. I got I got an extra one more piece of land than I actually anticipated buying, and I I did manage to get it. However, the actual land sale itself was probably the most stressful, inconvenient land sale I have ever been a part of. And I've been part of some land sales where they've been frustrating and they've not worked. But yeah, so there was a few things like that. I did manage to get lands. I was very fortunate. And yeah, so we're going to have a little look. And one of the reasons it was frustrating was just because you could not see what was being bought up uh, and you would be clicking on lands and clicking to buy them and you'd be having to wait to see if it goes through. And if it doesn't go through, you've got to try another land. You have, n you have absolutely no idea what's going on. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a look at why why what happened happened and what what they've learned and what they want to impl oh hopefully what they want to implement or do going forward. Okay, so they had their very first land sale. It was the Solarwood uh, area on the twenty seventh of May. Okay, so almost a month ago now. Wow. Uh, and yes, lots of issues arose. Like I'm I'm glad that they're addressing it. So what what happened? Twenty five thousand people were on the website now that's a lot of people i am not surprised they probably weren't expecting that i wasn't expecting that amount of people to be on there um the website performed well and under the circumstances did it i mean i had to hard refresh numerous times i mean it could have been worse i suppose but I had done everything. I've cleared cash cookies, restarted my router. I had made sure the works had been done to be top performing for this land sale. It didn't totally crash, so that's a good thing. Um, so it led to two external services going down as well as a block explorer. The map syncing went down. I spoke about that earlier. Yeah, you couldn't see what was being bought. Uh, a few things like were updating but the whole map wasn't updating at one point i ended up for the first two bits of land i bought i was trying to buy as close to like the big main area and i decided to go out further up i was like i i want some land i'm gonna go where other people probably aren't trying to get so technical issues arose during the land sale, which made continuing it harder and we had to abolish the parcel selling mid land sale instead allowing people to buy individual plots directly. In the case of a parcel like a city, that's 16 individual land plots. If one of those land plots failed to load, its metadata was already sold or was otherwise missing. The entire parcel became unavailable for sale. So out of 16 plots, if one is sold and 15 are waiting for the picking, the entire parcel transaction doesn't go through. That's basically saying if there's if there's one of the lands where it's 16 in pieces to make up that, that um, area, uh, if someone manages to just buy one of them, you can't buy the rest of that land. With people bypassing the Ember Sword website, this happened more than they'd like. 
uh, I'm glad they're addressing this. I didn't realize this was something, but this this makes a lot of sense why a lot of people were complaining that they weren't able to get those bigger bits of land when they were trying. And anybody going for sort of the single plots or the smaller ones uh, had a little bit more success. Not having an up-to-date image of what's going on is limiting, so they couldn't see what was actually happening. A lot of the third-party services that we use struggled to keep up with the pressure, but thankfully uh, persevered in the end. We also took a long, hard look at how our own endpoints were holding up and planned to scale these up for future map-based land sales as well. We'll also work towards no longer relying on public services where possible, for example, by using our own Polygon nodes, which will have the full history of the blockchain and provide our team and the land sale page with up-to-date information uh during future sales that's brilliant uh we personally limited ourselves to about 7.5 percent of the land available in the game world a first time uh, a first time land sale after all is almost expected to have some problems and now that we we saw what to expect firsthand we'll be ready to prevent what we can and tackle the rest of them faster in the future i mean yeah like with it only being 7.5 percent, that's a very slow portion for first time land sale to be able to get a feel of what's going on right improving communication okay in disc oh okay Twenty thousand registered users the mods really had uh, a run for them and they, yeah i mean like you gotta big up those mods uh it was a rate of one message per second at the time our main focus was working on technical areas we wanted things to run as smoothly as possible so communication went on the back burner uh, we tried to make a clear line for communication and the mods lot. Yeah, this is what I talked about. A lot of channels had limited, uh, had a limited time mode and we centralized everything into one channel. Yes, they did. And then they locked down everything. And I get it. I do. I just think it would have been better to have just said... We know that there's an issue we are going to put a statement out once we have sorted out the issues and got a handle on what the situation actually is please bear with us i feel like and then anybody and then people can just talk amongst themselves argue amongst themselves if they wish um it can't be easy for mods to be uh going through that but i would have just left the people to talk amongst themselves in one one channel but they did lock down the entire entire thing at one point with a lot of our communication, we waited until the information was set in stone on our end in order to ensure people got the correct and final version. Navigating what we could and couldn't tell everyone was a bit of a challenge, and we also had to get that information across in a clear and... Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, because you don't want to say one thing and then have to backtrack to say something else. So, yeah, it makes sense. you you got to just wait until you've got got the full picture. By making things easier by educating the community on multiple fronts, clear guides, video tutorials, and nice visuals for the entire land purchasing process. Oh, do you know what? That would have been so handy because that did stress me out. That did. St- I'd never gone through that. I've always been used to just clicking on a piece of land, click buy, click what gas price I want it to be. But yeah, it was. It was different for me. I hadn't done it on that side. So for me, that was that was really different. But otherwise, I, I did because I did read like their tutorial on how to get your um, ETH over to where it needed to be. And I'd done all that and that was fine. And I liked like that was set out really nicely. Um, some good, clear tutorials would be really nice because I had so many people um, end up messaging me because they found out i got land i'm like how did you get land how did you purchase i was like i just kept clicking i'm not i'm not joking over and over again so many failed 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 i was like i finally got two when i decided to go like high up on the map i was like right i'm going away from the center i'm going up other people are clearly going for the center not realizing it's it's been bought up so I went higher up, got those two, and then I was probably on for another hour just trying different bits of land to try and get another one. But yeah, I just just kept doing it. Just kept retrying over and over and over again. 
So what they're going to do here is they are basically just going to make it so you have to go through their website to be able to purchase. So they can't go behind, like, go behind the screen scenes and just do it the other way. The train is trustless. No one, not even we, can manipulate it. We try to do as much on-chain as possible and we're fans of the ecosystem it provides. You're definitely going to get that piece of land you put your money in, but it's also important for us to use the best possible approach. Yeah, I mean, I do agree. I mean, I'm as most of you know, I'm all for blockchain gaming and all that stuff, but if it's between having to do it this way or having people buy one individual plot that's part of a parcel and then nobody can buy that parcel because they've basically grabbed it and you only got that one one part of it and so the rest of it's locked up um i think this is better okay so they did get a wide distribution of ownership a lot of smaller buyers were able to snatch up a few plots of land or settlement so it uh, wasn't just the virtual real estate check there we go so that's always nice to know that people managed to get get in get a few plots of land so what are they doing? They're going to scale up their infrastructure to handle more traffic, including their own poly polygon nodes. Brilliant. We are expanding our community management team. I mean, that is good overall. Um, but yeah, I think just if anything happens, just putting out like an overall statement saying we will announce or we will put something out if something happens like that. Um, but yeah, it's always good to have extra people who know what's going on that can uh, talk to people, but if you've got like over 20,000 people in the Discord, it's going to be really hard to keep up with those, no matter how many people uh, you get to cover that. We'll be making key information such as maps available earlier. Okay, interesting. We will be improving and expanding our land sale guides. Perfect. I think that's great. That is one of my favorite things that they've announced here, to be honest. I think. I think that will help a lot of people. And and also this, implementing a technology that ensures sales only take place through their website. I think that's important just because of what happened with them saying um, people were able to buy one parcel of land that was part of a bigger chunk. So stopping uh, stopping people being able to actually buy that. And effectively, if it's part of a 16-piece uh plot and they've bought one leaving 15 nobody can buy those other 15 because it's actually meant to just be one piece and not 16 individual pieces i like that what they haven't put in here but i do know they did say in their um announcement was that for the next land sale they are going to be keeping the prices the same due to what happened and i think that is very very good of them because it was a frustrating sale and I think they know it. I think they know it as frustrating for the buyers. And yeah. And so keeping it at those same prices for people that couldn't get in or that were there and they were pressing for ages and couldn't get those. I, I think that's very, very good of them to keep it at that price. And with all of that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I... I really like the look of Embersword and I can't wait to play it. I am, this is a game I am very excited to play, even with the Lancel being frustrating. It's just one of those things. You roll with it and you move on and you, you get on with it. I managed to get some land and hopefully other people will manage to be able to get some land much easier within their next land sale. I do want to be covering Embersword a little bit more um, in depth actually talking about it because I know I haven't done a full on talking about Embersword so I do want to go into detail with that. Um, if you are into Embersword, did you buy land? Did you get the land that you wanted? Or are you waiting for a different uh, biome to come up? Because so far it's Solarwood, there's other places that you can buy plots in so let me know in the comment section is is this something you're going to invest in if you have or if you're thinking of doing it which which area are you wanting to invest in please let me know also if there is any other blockchain games you would like me to cover please leave those in the comments down below as well i really really do appreciate it 
please don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see some more videos on blockchain gaming, check out my one on Axie Infinity and check out another one that I'll put here, but I'm not sure what. Oh, War Riders. There'll be War Riders. Check War Riders out. It is free to play and it is a very good game. Wherever you are in the world, have a good morning, afternoon, evening. Goodbye.